This is Samsung Galaxy S23 and the screen is gone. For some reason it doesn't work, so we're going to replace it. And here is the replacement part. This is original service pack and we're going to do that. So we need few tools to do that. First of all, we need the tweezer. This is very handy and helpful. Also, we do have double-sided tape and Phillips screwdriver, adhesive, TS. 3.0 and flat opening tool something like that or we can use any sort of plastic card okay flexible thin plastic card through card adhesive and also to warm this up we go the hair dryer so let's do that it's so simple to do it step one we're gonna shut it down if possible because we're gonna apply a lot of heat and when you apply so much heat it's always recommended to switch off your phone first and the second step that we need to take out the same tray because when you're going to pull the secondary bolt out if you don't pull the same tray out it's going to destroy the actual bolt all right so in this stage what are you going to do we're going to apply heat to soften that heat. step three we need to take out this back plate. Now I apply heat around 5 to 7 minutes with 2200 watts ordinary hair dryer. And this part is the most sensitive and hardest part ever. Why? Because the back glass is kind of not shutterproof, it's easy to break in between plastic and glass. So I tried my best to do it slowly, as slow as possible. I did not apply so much pressure because if I do, it's going to crack into pieces and then it's very difficult to find the original one, okay? So, as you can see, I'm cutting through those adhesive. If you apply more heat, it's going to be softer and easier. If you apply less heat, means there is more chance to get the back cover damage, okay? So, here is another part, which is the camera lens. We need to take this out too. So, I'm going to use my tweezer. I applied enough heat and that's the reason why the actual lens came off completely okay there is strong adhesive I don't need to reapply it I just put it in there without touching the actual lens itself okay and now we're gonna keep it in a porch so it's gonna be dust free and we can just reapply it step 4 this is called mid frame NFC and all the screws we need to take out all the screws same in size so we don't need to worry too much we just need to put it somewhere safe those screws i always use manual and automatic screwdriver to make it easy and simple so let's do that When I remove the mid frame, I start from the bottom because this is much easier and we don't need to take the adhesive out from this NFC. So like that and it's so simple. So here is the ear speaker and the NFC is gone. Now the first thing that we're going to do, we're going to disconnect the battery. You might can apply kind of plastic tool to remove it. I always do with my fingertips and that's much more easier. Okay and I can control my pressure so I'm not going to over pressurize and damage those connectors okay there are a lot of connectors that you can see we need to remove all of them and some of them easy with the plastic tool flat opening tool and then we're going to take out the top speaker out this is also part of mid frame and now we do have the secondary board it does have three screws we're gonna take this out those screws are silver in color so easily identical even if you mix it you can clearly take this out because those are much shorter than the actual mid frame one and now we can start pulling this out like that and it's so simple there is no adhesive just leave it on the side and that should go later on into the new housing which one comes with the genuine screen and this is the secondary cable we need to disconnect it too and it's simple 
might have seen and that is the front camera this is the most challenging one why because the front front camera secure with some sort of hot glue and that is the main board that you can see do not touch the camera lens if you do you're gonna damage the visuality and it's gonna be very blurry and not clear keep it in the safe place and now we need to cut those adhesive on the right and left as I said kind of hot glue so it took about three to five minutes to process it I just use my tweezer to cut it from the side to side okay and before you cut it if you just pull this camera out you're gonna definitely you're gonna damage it so be careful gently try to spot it from the side to side so here is another fun part to remove the actual batteries Samsung made it so simple this time as you can see you can pull tab when you pull it it should come out easily like that so you don't need to just scoop it or spudgery it's so simple and you can reuse this adhesive label all right so the new housing is ready to take all this component in as you can see the power button volume button already included means pre-installed uh, by the way I did not get the same color this time I got it uh, blue instead of um, white or silver now it's going to go like that so we're going to reverse back whatever we done okay and we're going to reconnect the battery that would be the last one and we're going to finishing this replacement by adding adhesive and the back plate and once you put the back cover we're going to put some sort of tape or you can try even cello tape after applying the liquid ad adhesive and leave it for a few hours to get it solid rock okay so let's reverse back everything and hopefully you would like the rest of the video and if you do please don't forget to like and subscribe to support this channel and if you do have any question leave it in the comment section thank you